It's your boy, Landon Mill out here. We are currently on our way driving to the airport. About to hit up the Prefontaine Classic as a volunteer this weekend. Uh, got the basket crew this week, so pretty much I'm gonna be holding all the professional athletes. I'm gonna be holding their warm-ups while they run. Yeah, so this is gonna be a vlog style video. Hope you guys enjoy. So we made it here to San Francisco. Been up for 20 hours today, so I'm bone freaking tired. But about to catch the first Uber of my life, so that's about to be lit. And then get back to that hotel for a good sleep tonight before uh, we start all the crap tomorrow. So I'm uh, heading to volunteer training at uh, the Stanford track here this morning, Saturday morning out here in Palo Alto but other than that like ain't got any plans for the day so probably just gonna check out the city see see what's around uh, Stanford's campus and it's about to be friggin lit so we're here in this like Stanford sports complex thing I don't know I just walked in and the doors are open um, kind of cool and over here we got uh, a little tribute to that man Ryan Hall one of my uh, favorite runners of all time when he was staying for the championship back in 03, so. All right, so we were at that track for the practice time and pretty much saw the whole entire Bowerman crew. And I pans it out in terms of like talking to them and getting pictures with them. But I'm going back to my hotel. I'm gonna get my running gear. I'm gonna run back to get my daily run in. And if I run into them, like hopefully I can run with them. And then maybe, you know, like talk to them, get some pictures, that kind of good stuff. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what happened. I uh, just got done with my run, did a nice easy six miles um, around Stanford's campus. I actually ran by Ben Blankenship during my run, miler for Oregon Track Club. Um, so now we're gonna go, we're gonna go explore downtown Palo Alto and uh, get some lunch. hit up Whole Foods. A little review on what I ate. So I had some mushroom and spinach lasagna, really good. That was really good. And some pretty pretty good, uh, it was curry chicken and a little bit of fresh fruit. But let me tell you the kicker, I had like three buffalo wings. And I'm not even joking. Whole Foods has the best buffalo wings I've ever had in my life. And then also to top it off, got a little peach tea. Heading back, right now we're heading back to Stanford's campus, uh, walk around a little bit, explore. Hopefully see Craig Engels because he is currently there on the track doing his uh, pre-race. So essentially, I didn't really do too much exploring. I just hung out at the track all afternoon, which was a freaking great experience. Uh, I got to talk to Eric Jenkins, who graduated from Oregon about two years ago. He's running the two mile tomorrow. Um, yeah, but I got to talk to him for 15 minutes, just about like training and all that kind of stuff. Just, he's a really chill dude. So that was just, that was a cool experience. All right, so we got the pre-classic today. I'm freaking hyped. I'm about to head out to the track. Uh, one disappointing note for y'all, um, I'm actually on the basket crew, so I'm gonna be holding warm-ups for all of the runners before and after the races. But part of doing that is I can't have my phone on me at all during the entire meet, so uh, I, won't, I can't really take videos or anything of that on the inside, but um, hopefully I can, I'll can. i come back and maybe meet some athletes after the race. So, but uh, yo, it's about to be freaking lit.
So, just got finished with the Prefontaine Classic, uh, carrying professional athletes clothes around. So, it was a great experience. Got to be on the track a lot, and um, you know, it was like rubbing elbows with some of the fastest athletes in the world. And like, there's, I even had a couple interactions with some of them. Like, in the recovery tent, I just walked by clean quickly, and she like said, "Hey, thanks for carrying all of our stuff around." So, I mean, she's obviously 100% into me. So, look out for that in the future. And then. Um, Ben Blankenship recognized me from yesterday when I ran into him on my run, and so that was pretty cool. And then also, like, after me, got to take some pictures with some of the athletes, so I will we'll throw those up. So here you go. All right, so the pre-classic is over. It's the day after the meet, and now I'm heading out. Um, it's a freaking great experience. Uh, I would totally recommend it to anyone who has extra time to do it in the summer. Next year, it's going to be back in Eugene. And um, actually, if you want to contact the people to be able to volunteer at the Classic like I did, it's just volunteers at preclassic.org. And they'll hit you up with a sign-up form. And, like, it's easy, bro. And you can just go out there and have a freaking great experience. But thanks, y'all, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, we'll be coming at you with more videos the rest of the summer. Peace.